Hey, it's Pamela, and if you notice anything new about me, it would be my new dental implants. There's no more spaces, and I'm so happy about that. It's been a long three-year journey, and I spent like, what was it, 13K on my teeth? I was one year into the whole fixing my teeth thing when you know what hits and the past two years, I still managed to complete it. So I'm very proud of myself. Not proud of the expense, but I now have a full mouth of teeth and I couldn't be happier. So where we left off, I had the screw things in my gums. And at first that was kind of weird and I noticed that my tongue would play with them a lot, but that went away and it kind of prepared prepared me to get used to having something there. So it just kind of felt like I had short little teeth. My implants are obviously larger than that, but I very quickly got used to them and now I can't really remember what it was like to have the spaces in my mouth even though I had them for quite a long time. I guess two of the years I had the Invisalign trays in and they had the little space where there was not a fake teeth but like my orthodontist painted it in so I could hide the spaces but I just found it was kind of annoying to wear during the day so I ended up just walking around <laughs> with the missing teeth in my mouth and not really caring. People said they couldn't really notice it, but I feel like it was visible and they were just trying to be nice. Now that I have the teeth, I'm hoping that they do notice because I'm proud of them. I'm proud of myself. And I just think that, well, I'm feeling a little gross right now. Like something's coming up and I have a headache and my muscles hurt and I feel kind of tired and my skin is all broken out. I'm a woman, it happens once a month, TMI, I don't care. But I do feel like I ultimately look better. It just shows that making small changes in your appearance does impact your all over look, which is also why I tell people to not go cheap on any facial procedures. Like I know people that have done the other version of Invisalign, the cheaper version of Invisalign, and they have issues allegedly. The cost of the crowns in total, it was 3400 So the first one was 3300 So six thousand seven hundred. I would say for the whole thing, I think it was about seven thousand. And my Invisalign was just shy of seven thousand. So we're basically at fourteen k over the past three years that I've spent on my teeth. But you know what? It was worth it. I do believe because I feel a lot better and I feel like things that I haven't really been able to do those doors are gonna open up for me again so I'm happy about that and I also noticed that speaking I feel like I'll be able to speak more clearly because I don't have the spaces also eating I'm sure like if you speak to an orthodontist or dentist or whatever they're gonna give you better reasons for this so now let's go over what happened during this part of the procedure. I thought that they were just gonna screw off the little top of the screw part and then just screw on the tooth. No, it felt like he pulled something out and then put something new in. So basically underneath the tooth is a little peg. Like it's not like the thick pegs that I had. It's like a little skinny peg. There was no cutting this time. There was no stitches, no need for that. So they put the skinny peg on this side and then they go over and put the skinny peg on the other side. Then they fit the teeth on. And I actually heard someone go through this process and they said that their dentist had dropped the tooth and broke it. And then they had to go home and have the little spot Bikes. I don't know if they were thinking about veneers or whatever because these things are pretty strong. I don't think dropping them on the floor would necessarily cause them to shatter and this is what the person had claimed. So if you hear anything like that, I don't think that's something you have to fear. You're not going to be sent home by your dentist with two little spikes in your mouth. If the teeth were damaged or they didn't fit or something, they would just screw the thing back on and then you would come back when the 
replacements were available. So after they put the little skinny pegs in, they place the teeth to see how they fit and see how it matches with your bite. So they use this little paper thing that you bite down on then you like kind of like grind your teeth together to see how they match up. If it doesn't quite match up with the tooth on the top or bottom depending on where your implant is, they just file the tooth opposite the implant, which is what they had to do on this side. So you had to polish my upper molar a little bit so the teeth fit together better. But when they get the proper fit of the tooth, they pull it out and they put the cement in, they let it set, and then when it's all ready, they put it on and then you have teeth. They make sure that they are set at the dentist office so you're not sent home with this like tooth that is slowly setting into place. I don't know how to explain it. So they make sure that it's on there and they're not going to send you home. So when you get home, it's going to fall out. They're on there pretty securely. And I didn't really have to go through a soft foods period. I did that night because the gums were kind of tender because it is a lot of work around that tissue. And I think the tenderness came from them removing the apparatus. And apparatus. <laughs> What's it called? I don't know. And then putting the actual one in. I didn't film it. You can probably find the full procedure somewhere online. My dentist also flossed the tooth and like showed me how to do it. So basically you have to take the floss and go underneath the tooth and then obviously on the other side. So it's not like flossing your teeth regularly where you just go like that. You kind of you just want to make sure you don't leave anything that gets caught underneath. But in my opinion, that's nothing compared to flossing through where my wire is. So I think that's everything for how it went. The next day, my gums felt a lot better. There wasn't any real tenderness. Well, because I didn't really have much healing to do. The teeth did feel a bit weird and out of place at first, but not anymore. It was like a day or two and it just felt like they were my teeth. Anyway, now I'm going to show you guys a close-up of the implants. You guys are also going to see my breakout, but whatever. We're all human. Every now and then, our skin freaks out. Um, yeah, so here you go. This tooth right here is the baby tooth, and I do plan on getting an implant there when the tooth is ready to go. But as for now, a little out of my price range, as I've already stated that I spent $14,000 on my teeth already. Anyway, my molars look like they need to be whitened a bit, but don't judge me. It's been a long journey. I do have to say that it feels good that this is finally all over. My insurance for dental actually cut me off because I've been to the dentist so much and I am so tired of having someone else's hands in my mouth but ultimately I'm really happy with the results. It actually was a really great decision and I also feel like it's helped a jaw issue that I've had where my jaw was super out of alignment. That is going to take some time for the deviation to calm down because I still have it. So not just for cosmetics and having a nice smile, it's also helped me physically and I also do have bruxism which I treat with Botox. And as for the nighttime aligner, the bottom is obviously not going to fit anymore. I actually did get scanned by my orthodontist last week and I'm going tomorrow to get the new one and that was just a quick appointment where they checked the wires and they did the digital scan of my full mouth and I'm actually going to get a night guard on the top because of my bruxism and I grind really badly at night and a new regular aligner to fit my new teeth and that cost me $400. They charged me $200 for the night guard and $200 for the bottom aligner. So I just thought I'd throw that in there for anyone who has had Invisalign is like, well, if you got implants, it's not going to fit anymore. I just got rescanned. Anyway, I hope this was informative to you guys. If there's anyone out there who wants to go through the Invisalign process and the implant process, I have a full playlist, which I will put in the description box below. I hope that it helps you out and can give you the information that you are looking for. If it's something that you've done, let me know how your procedure went in the comment section below. And also remember to give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe as it does really help my channel and I also really appreciate it when you guys do that. Anyway, that's everything for now. Thanks for watching.